Hi friends, today we are working on syllables and affixes sort number 15. With this sort, we are looking at the syllable juncture and how the spelling pattern contributes to where the syllables break. Let's go ahead and look at our first anchor word. The word athlete breaks between the syllables right between the T, H, and the L. Athlete. When we look at the syllable pattern, we notice that it's a vowel, consonant, consonant, syllable break, consonant, vowel pattern. Moving over to our next anchor word, we have the word pilgrim. With the word pilgrim, I notice that the word breaks right in between the L and the G, pilgrim. With this spelling pattern, we have a vowel, consonant, syllable juncture, which is right where the syllable breaks, consonant, consonant, vowel. That's why it goes in this category. Looking at our last word, we have the word create. I notice that in the word create, the syllable breaks right between the two vowels, create. This is why it goes in the vowel, vowel category. Let's go ahead and find some more words that fit into each category. When I look at the word control, I notice that the word control breaks right in between the N and the T. Additionally, when we look at what letters are on either side of the syllable juncture, we notice that it's a vowel and a consonant, and then the syllable juncture, and then a consonant, consonant, vowel. That would put the word control right underneath pilgrim. When we look at the word poet, I notice that the syllable breaks right between the O and the E. Since it breaks right between the two vowels, let's go ahead and put it underneath the word create. Let's see if we can find a word that fits under vowel, consonant, consonant, break, consonant, vowel. When I look at the word pumpkin, I notice that the word pumpkin breaks right between the P and the K, pumpkin. When we look at what's on either side of the syllable juncture, I notice that it's a vowel, consonant, consonant, syllable juncture, consonant, vowel. This would put it right underneath athlete. Go ahead and continue sorting your words. As you're doing this, be very careful to notice where the syllable breaks and what letters are on either side of the syllable juncture. How did you do? As you sort your words this week, it might be helpful to practice a few extra times since we are looking specifically at what letters come before and after the syllable juncture. Additionally, pay very close attention to the fact that the E in English is an uppercase E due to the fact that English is a proper noun.